Yo yo, today we are conducting a little trail building experiment. We are going to build an entire section of flow trail only using rakes. That means we use rakes to clear the way, remove the bushes and even clear branches. Safety first! And then we are going to test it to see if it's any good. This should get interesting. I tried my best to scout a route that didn't require bench cutting and that had little branches, but we were in the forest so we couldn't avoid all the branches. So far it's going really well. Normally we would have taken this and raked it and that would have been just the first phase. Then we would have gone through with the bazooka, benched everything out taken the spade, cleaned it up, and then usually it still rides terribly. If this works, I'm done. I don't use the bazooka or the spade unless I 100% have to. Because this is amazing. We just built like 50 meters of trail, like that. So we just ran into our first obstacle. We only got rakes, and obviously this is in the way. What? What we typically do in this situation. Ah. I didn't lose my khakis. I just forgot where I put them. Listen, but I No, don't, don't pull while I'm on it. I don't want to break it. We all go down. No, that's not why I'm doing this. Oh. This was the first major issue we ran into. The trail had to turn. There's a really nice berm on the other side of these two trees, but without a saw, we were forced to take a different route. Believe me, we tried. Uh, okay. So that was not working. If we had a saw, it would have helped a lot. Even the bazooka. But no, brakes only. The corner we were forced to take is slightly tighter and had no support. The main issue we ran into repeatedly was branches getting in the way and having to reroute due to not having a saw. Even though we actually had a saw with us, we were committed to doing this challenge the right way. Just adding a saw would dramatically have increased the quality of this trail. Well, quality or not, it's time okay. to test it. Okay, so we're here to test it and we're just gonna see how good a trail can be that we use rakes on. Yeah. Also, if you wanna see us hitting this feature, video's up there. Up there. Up there, in the cloud. I wanted to see how someone riding a trail for the first time would have to deal with the awkward corners. So, I let Jamie ride it blind. That off camera section was pretty decent. Ah, oh, that sucked. Yeah, turn, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might have been a little cruel of me not telling him about this corner, but at least he survived it. I honestly think that just adding a saw to the kit would make the perfect low key trouble to kit. Oh, now you're going behind me. Ah, oh, that is slightly sketchy. Go, 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 go. Uh. Oh! Let me know, guys, 
how badly does it bother you that it's like some bushes and grass in the trail? Because that's usually what I like take out. That's usually the reason I don't use just rakes. Ah, not super great line. This experience made me realize that I tend to want to bench everything out. This entire section of trail only had one part that really needed benching. But if I had more tools, I would have naturally wanted to bench almost everything. It's like limiting yourself teaches you where the tools should be used and shouldn't be used. Maybe I've stumbled upon a new method of building. One where you rake first, then test ride, and then bench it out where you found it was necessary. I hope this inspired you to get out there and build your own trail because this made me realize how easy it is to make something fun in your backyard. Subscribe for more trail building and I will see you all next week.